So this week's Celebrity Spotlight is not someone that you would probably consider a household name, but she's interesting because her chart is quite interesting. And I usually pick by the chart, not by the celebrity, because it's, it's, it's the numbers I'm intrigued with more than anything else. And that's what makes them special. So this is uh, Zoe Saldana, which she was known for first Star Trek. She worked um, as the character you... Hana, or are you? I'm not really sure. You'll have to Google it because I think it's U H. I can't read my own writing. U H uh, U R A. So I think that's her name on Star Trek. And then the big one was Avatar because she did not only the voiceovers for some of it, but she was also a main character. So that really put her on the map. But before she was into the industry, she was actually doing ballet jazz, all kinds of different dance stuff, um, but, um, Latin in the Dominican. So it's just interesting how, how they uh, stumble into these things. Like I have a makeup artist friend who Kim Kardashian noticed him on Instagram and boom, he's famous. So you just never know. <laughs> um, but her chart is interesting because she spent, she's really kind of a leader because there's something there that's going to emerge for her, especially this year, because she's in a personal year of nine and a peak of eight. So it's high change. Nine on every level is high change. Then the peak, which lasts for nine years, she's just starting. So eight is all about independence, stepping out, stepping up, uh, coming into your own. Uh, it's very assertive, doubtless, confident, um, all kinds of that stuff. It just gives you that extra giddy up. So she's really going to be manifesting what she wants to do now. And it's not Star Trek or Avatar. That was just her way in, I guess. And so I, I sincerely think because if you add up her life path, she's a 41.5. And that is a really rare combo of the five because we're talking about Hitler, 32.5, and then the 23.5 is a natural counselor. But then you have the 41.5 which is leading with that solid, grounded, stable four. So it makes the five much more inclined to be loving, compassionate, and not dominating, controlling, erratic, all over the place, seeking freedom. It's, it's a very vastly different four. So she's very much a, a builder through here. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's not going to build some sort of like charity type thing or who knows like a program or like a you know those those things they have out now that uh, time's up or something I don't know the, I've seen them all over the place but I think she'll be involved in something like that because her first cycle was a seven so she had a lot of hindsight learning she's got a lot of notches under her belt with you know won't do that again that kind of thing so she's been through the ringer and now that she's in this eight it's giving her the confidence back the personal power back so I think we're going to hear from her again. She's a Gemini, so they're, you know, they're stubborn. They can be quite stubborn, actually. So I, I think she's, she, if she gets pushed down, she'll be right back up. And um, so like I say, I, you know, I, I didn't pick her just because of that, but um, it was because of her chart. It was, it was really because of her chart. She's got a lot of mental dominance, and she also has the arrow of great expression, which means that a lot of great leaders have had that arrow. It's, it means that you're always being pushed. Your body or your soul is always wanting you to do something. Uh, I've seen people weed the garden, like the flower bed, with a flashlight at night because they can't like unwind with that arrow. I have that arrow. So I'm like, I know I don't relax. I really don't. And uh, it's just always pushing you, pushing you. And she's got double nines at the head, so that means she's very strongly determined. There's a lot of determination there. Uh, intellectually, I mean, she's definitely, it's all about truth, too, for her. Truth, big time. Because she's got her gift and the how, which is the year. They're both sevens. One's a 16-7, one's a 25-7. So it's totally truth-oriented. So again, those, those, whatever you call it, those uh, campaigns or those, you know, for a cause. This is, uh, this is where I think she's going. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm right. 
So that's your Celebrity Spotlight this week. And uh, tune in again next week, and we'll have another Celebrity Spotlight for June. Tune, again, tune in again here, um, same time, same place, on LotterUSA.com.